This video will show you how to use pivot tables to get a count of data or to make a cross tab of data. And we're using the Avery case study data here. Um, the questions labeled one through however many they are across the top. The survey is numbered one through 124 on the side here. Um, what we're going to do to make a pivot table is go to insert and then pivot table. If you're using Excel 2003, your pivot table will be on the data menu. Uh, other than that, everything should be the same. So we're going to click on pivot table. It's asking to choose the data that you want to analyze. We want to uh, make sure we have the entire data set highlighted like that. Um, and then it's going to ask you where you want the pivot table to be placed. We want it on a new worksheet and we'll click OK. Um, this looks a little scary but it's pretty easy once you get used to it. Uh, what we want to do first is look at question two on the survey which is asking how willing people are to purchase something from a catalog. That is question two. So what we're going to do is click and drag question two onto where it says drop row fields here. We want that to be shown in the row. Uh, this is question two and what it's done is it's given a list of all the possible responses for that question one, two, and three which is not very willing, somewhat willing, and very willing. Uh, to get the actual data we then want to take question two again and drag it into the drop data items here box and when we drop it, we get, make sure this says count of Q2. Um, if it doesn't, you're going to have to right click on it and um, change this, summarize data by count, but it should say that. Uh, it tells us 50 people answered one, not willing, 35 people answered two, somewhat willing, and 39 people answered three, which is very willing. So that would be how you do a one-way table. If we then want to do a cross tab or a two-way table, um, we're going to use question 27, which is about gender. We're going to put question 27 as the column headings, which we're going to click it and drag it to up here. When we drop it, it will tell us this is question 27. Uh, one was for male and two is for female and it's now we have the same data as before the 50, the 35, and the 39 people who answered how willing they were uh, to buy something from a catalog. They're now split by gender so not willing 25 male, 25 female, somewhat willing 16 male, 19 female, and so on. This also gives us a total um, 65 males and 59 females 124 people in the sample total.